Hello everyone, Nick Detman back here for another edition of the Detman Media Podcast where we go over and discuss the latest in social media marketing as well as digital marketing, email marketing, content marketing, and website design and analytics. Glad you can join me here today for today's episode. Got a couple really good topics here to discuss and bring uh, to your attention as we continue to uh, work through our, some of the latest things that have gone on in the social media world. Of course, the the Facebook uh, crash uh, from a few weeks ago, and then um, Apple's uh, mail privacy protection um, uh, update has also been rolled out. So certainly a lot to talk about. Uh, so we'll get to that here in just a sec. So uh, just if you don't already, head on over to uh, my blog, which is nicholasdetman.blogspot.com. Again, nicholasdetman.blogspot.com. There you'll get uh, updates delivered right there to your email inbox. And the latest in social media, digital marketing, and uh, overall online marketing, as well as website design and analytics. Uh, delivered right to your inbox. Uh, and we want to thank uh, Five Star Complete Asphalt Services of Southwest Connecticut and West Haven, Connecticut for sponsoring the Detman Media Podcast. Five Star Complete Asphalt Services is your go-to source for all your asphalt and paving needs in Southwest Connecticut as well as throughout the New England region. Free quotes available. Give them a call at 475-414-0125. Again, 475-414-0125 or visit them online at 5 Star Complete Asphalt Services.com. Like I mentioned, got a couple of good topics to discuss here today. Uh, so let's dive right into it. And the first one we're going to cover is the getting ready for the change in the cookie world. Uh, it's been well noted here over the last several weeks, even several months, that uh, by about 2023, uh, third-party third party cookies will be gone, thus hindering marketing campaigns, uh, specifically understanding metrics such as key performance indicators or KPIs or return on investments or ROIs. Uh, third-party cookies are tracking mechanisms that help marketers understand a user's profile on a website that's placed by an outside program. Um, in this case here, I want to emphasize that uh, the first party cookies will still be available to you once this change goes into effect, which still is unknown, but it, the expectation is by 2023. So within two years, it's expected to be in, but we don't know for sure. Um, so what are first party cookies? So a first party cookie is when a user signs into an e-commerce website such as Amazon or Walmart or um, any place that does business online. Uh, the web browser will then send a request and a process uh, that provides the, the highest level of trust that the user is directing or directly interacting with on Amazon, Walmart, or any other e-commerce website. Uh, according to cookiepro.com, here's a, here's a little deeper explanation. Quote, the web browser saves the data file to the user's computer under the, quote, amazon.com, quote, domain. If first-party cookies were blocked, a user would have to sign in every time they visited and they would, wouldn't be able to purchase multiple items while shopping online because the cart would reset after every item that was added. So how do we prepare for the change? Well, for one, you want to collect the data you can now by doing an audit. Find out what you can about your visitors to your website. Uh, but don't worry if you can't collect all that information. First-party data will still be available like I mentioned previously. Um, and a great example of this are going to be lead generation forms such as an email, newsletter, signups, or purchases. That's uh, another great way to get first-party data because that is people are already committing themselves uh, to their information that uh, you are, um, you're, you, they're giving you permission to have their, their information. And that's, that is going to be great information to have uh, as, as uh, understanding data and who's coming to websites gets a little more clouded with the, the cookie tracking as well as other privacy settings that are starting to filter out into the market. Uh, putting a greater emphasis on the customer experience will be big going forward. Um, one way to do that is create the positive experience uh, so a consumer in confidence can provide you the information you like to collect and help with your marketing efforts, such as, like I mentioned, uh, newsletter signups or purchases. 
but you also must be transparent about it. Tell them why you're doing it and what you plan to do with it. Uh, another thing to keep in mind and put a great emphasis on engagement, such as uh, cost per clicks or CPCs. Um, that's certainly something if you're looking into the email uh, marketing category, that's something that's going to be extra important um, with mail privacy and uh, we'll kind of talk about that here in a little bit. Um, but nonetheless, that will still help you collect the first party data that you need in order to be able to have the data that you need to make data informed decisions. Now I've had back and forth on understanding uh, this this aspect in terms to Google and Google Analytics. Now there are some that feel that Google Analytics for the most part won't be harmed in this transition but it's not entirely clear if a, if it will be harmed and if it is going to be harmed and in what way because uh, because from discussions I've had is Google really doesn't know for themselves as of yet so there's it's why we're kind of starting to see we're seeing this delay in rolling out this this transition to no cookies um, or at least no third-party cookies down the line as the initial thought was to release it in 2022 but but uh, more testing uh, still needs to be done in terms of, to understand what's what's going to happen with these changes and what people should know uh, going forward so um, but in, in going back to Google Analytics um, one thing that uh, is appears to be pretty solidly known um, that is going to go away, is going to go away is, or is the cross-tracking uh, tactics and what you can do there is making sure you set up uh, quality UTMs and I have uh, a way to do that um, on my blog at nicholasdetman.blogspot.com essentially UTMs help you set up direct links with with tags to help you better understand where people might be coming from when they click on a link. Uh, so it's very valuable information to start getting maybe used to doing that already. I do it um, and I found it pretty pretty handy uh, information to have and that information can be tracked in Google Analytics. So uh, check out my blog nicholasdetman.blogspot.com and I've got a couple of posts uh, related to that. So, and then the, the next topic here that we're going to discuss, the next will probably be the last one today, um, but it's an important one. Uh, it's, it's again dealing with the mail privacy protection um, feature that um, Apple unveiled with its latest iOS uh, 15 update. And that was about a month ago, uh, mid-September is when that happened. So, uh, in short, the mail privacy protection, or MPP, uh, acts as a bridge between sender and consumer in email marketing. What the, what the MPP or the Mail Privacy Protection feature will do is it'll open an email sent to the user, remove the identifying traits, and then move the email onto the consumer. So what the analytics will show here is the email was open, but it may not necessarily have been opened by the user. Um, so I have a little explanation how that kind of works uh, on my blog. But uh, essentially what these numbers are going to do is these analytics are going to show that you're going to see very inflated numbers specifically with your email open rates and not be in good contrast to the click rates so and as I mentioned in the uh, last topic that uh, you're really going to want to put a bigger emphasis on engaging um, your marketing especially if you're using email and your marketing tactics uh, which you should um, if you're running any kind of business, it's the best way to communicate with your consumers and your customers is by having an email marketing plan. Um, so working more and focusing more on generating clicks within emails are going to be a better tell of the success of your email marketing strategy. So um, I usually go for anywhere between, I'd say if you're be around 2.5 to 5 percent in your email op or uh, your click rates within your emails uh, that's pretty solid um, by industry standards so now that we're one month into this or about a month into this uh, Litmus, an email marketing company uh, recently released some data finding out oh, from about one month uh, into this launch um, to figure out what's what's happened so far and um, a couple of notes here popped out at me as I looked through the report and I do have the full report on my blog 
Uh, and again, it's Nicholas Detman, .blogspot.com. Uh, a couple of those bullet points here I'm going to point out are Google surpassed uh, Apple as the most popular email client overall um, at 38 uh, was 38.2 percent to 36.5 now uh, it is reversed so um, Gmail is now at about 36 percent and Apple is at 33 uh, about 6.60 percent of users um, who are eligible for the male privacy protection have initialized it um, so there are people who've taken advantage of it and um, mobile email usage is down 12.8 percent after the male privacy protection um, compared to before and now as I've mentioned the the full reports on my blog but also when looking at this this uh, this topic and this issue yeah it's great for for consumers but the the argument against it is that from marketers um, were that not having accurate information about a user could actually put more uh, more content in someone's email inbox or even their social media feeds that they didn't want to see before and that's that's kind of the back and forth on this it's uh, kind of you know par users have been quite adamant about what's what of their data is shared and what are they collecting how are they using it so they want more privacy um, but at the same time they want more relevant content in their email so it's kind of be careful what you wish for in a sense uh, when it comes to this male privacy protection so like I said great for consumers because uh, the idea is to make consumers believe or feel like they have more control of how their data is collected and stored and used but again it's kind of be careful what you wish for because if you opt into this or if you take extra steps to utilize privacy you might actually be doing um, damage I wouldn't want to say damage but it's also good chance that you're you're, you're going to start seeing more things that you really don't particularly care for as opposed to now where it, where the, your information is kind of tracked in terms of your behavior and your activities online you're at least getting content in front of you that is relevant to or believed to be relevant to you because of your because of your browsing history or your action history um, on the web now of course the argument always against this is although it feels kind of creepy but there is actually some value to it so um, yeah but some interesting findings about the one month in uh, of the male privacy protection and, and um, what way it might be heading and that full report is on my uh, blog so that about wraps up today's uh, podcast again want to thank you for listening to uh, the Detman Media Podcast about uh, we'll go over the social media digital online marketing tips and trends and analysis as well as other uh, marketing things uh, in the digital landscape and thank our sponsor five star complete asphalt services in new in west Haven, connecticut serving all of uh, southwest connecticut and and the north and the new england region offering free quotes for your any free uh, yeah free quotes for your asphalt project needs uh, anywhere from crack filling to seal coating uh, and things in between give them a call at 475-414-0125 or visit them on the web at 5 starcompleteasphaltservices.com that wraps up this edition of the Netman Media Podcast thanks again for listening again if you haven't heard, done so already head over to the blog click on subscribe and get the updates right to your inbox until next time we'll talk to you again and be safe and uh, have a good rest of your day and week